asks, they say they have a scatter plot and they want to know how to identify a point in a scatter plot and find where it is in an Excel spreadsheet. So they need to know the X and Y for a specific point in the scatter plot and the location of the point. Well, let me show you a way that you can find the point pretty easily. I'm not exactly sure how you want to do this, but let me just show you a quick way that this can be done. So the easiest way, if you have a scatter plot, to try to figure out what point you're talking about is to just take your mouse pointer and hover it over a point. And in little teeny text there, it's telling me that the numbers associated with the point are 8.14 and 5.97. So if you don't have but a few points like we do here, then you can identify that pretty easily. Now, you probably want to know a better method for what if I have hundreds of points and I need to identify one of them, what can I do then? So let me show you a little trick. Usually when I have data like this, if it doesn't have an identification variable or an ID variable, I'll create one. And so an easy way to create an ID variable is just to number them one, two, and then you can highlight the numbers one, two, grab the little fill handle down here and drag it down or double click it and it'll fill down numbers and give each row a unique ID. Now how that can be used in a scatter plot like this is if you right click on any one of the points in the scatter plot here, let's go to add data labels, add data labels. And by default, what Excel wants to do is it wants to label it with the Y value, but that's not what we want. That's not going to help us here. So right click on that again and go to Format Data Labels. And here, instead of the little checkbox here says Y value, what we want to do is give it a label value from cells. So click that and it asks us what data label range do we want to use. So click the little select button there and we want to select the numbers one through eight that we gave the data. Uh, well, th those little labels that we created over here. And then hit enter, okay. And you see now that it has two labels, it has the ID number and the Y value. But if we go over here to the right side, we can uncheck the box called Y value. And now our, each of our data points are just labeled with that ID variable that we created. And I think in most cases, that's gonna be an easy enough way to be able to tell which point it is to look at since they're in order here. Now there may be some complicated cases or data structures where this might not be a good fit. And to my viewer who asked me this question, if this doesn't solve your problem, please give me a little bit more information and I'll be happy to see what I can come up with. Otherwise, I hope everybody's learned something. And this is Berkey Academy signing out. Good luck with all of your studies.